these sunny, bright mornings by the pool, it's like being on vacation, even on a work day. It's amazing how fast two hours will go when you get to get up in the morning and come down and like sun a swim. Let's take another look at what makes Bonifacio Global City such a fantastic destination for first time travelers to the Philippines. I really do enjoy BGC, great community here. The community is what it's all about. I was just walking down the street, I went out to buy something and I see one of my good friends meet up, like bumped into each other right in front of Dr. Wine, which is kind of like a, one of our haunts. I'm like, hey, dude, it's happy hour. He's like, yeah. We'll be back in an hour for a cold one. He's like, so will I. We go in, try to get a reservation. It's Saturday night. We're like, nah, we're booked, man. He's like, yeah, well, I think you could move that table over to this table and give us that table and we'll take four seats even though we'll be six. And the next thing you know, we got a table and I'm um, going for a cold one in about 45 minutes. And the sun is even down yet. Normally we don't go out till 9, 10, 11, but it'll be one of those nights. I guarantee you still do it again. Yeah. Hell of a night. And an early night. And a rainy night. All and it's a Saturday night, and this place is usually bomb jam packed. But it's so rainy, and we met this European girl, and everything was cool. We chilled and like made connections at poker gaming and like Manila. Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen in Manila. That's why Manila is so amazing. Boom. On the weekends, as the night progresses, the DJ gets going, and it gets a little bit louder and a little bit rowdier. Well, let's say more like livelier, because this tends to be more of a high rolling kind of crowd. They don't get so rowdy. They just get ready to roll. The wine really does flow like water in this place. They've got hundreds of bottles on the menu. You remember I was saying BGC is like a community? There's always people that you know, always people that are friends, always friends of friends and acquaintances that are gonna be rolling in and hanging loose and having a good time. Things might start out slow in Manila when it's raining, but not even the rain is gonna keep a crowd away from a place like this on a Saturday night. And during rainy season, it might rain torrentially, but only for 30 minutes, here or there, or maybe an hour, or maybe every other half hour. Rain is just a part of the deal you can really get a sense of how packed this place gets inside and outside as you walk through. Really great top level air conditioning inside, which is one of the reasons why we actually like to sit outside because it gets kind of cold in that place. And we can smoke cigars outside, which is always a plus. Inside of the community, it is pretty common to get an invitation to a local nightclub, like this one, Club Royal in Poblacio, Makati. A really popular spot where we kind of like to go, drink, chill, and dance. There's all kinds of opportunities to get a private table in here or join one if your friends have one. It's one of the things about the BGC and Makati community that just makes it great. You can pretty much always roll into anywhere, see someone you know, and get an invite to join them and have a drink. But that goes both ways, because when you're the one with the table and you're hanging out and your bros and your gals roll in, well, you're the one that extends the invitation to them. And again, it's just sort of back and forth, off and on, week after week, everybody's always welcome. It makes for a really fantastic party vibe just about every night of the week. And that's what's great about Manila, even on the slow nights, you can roll out and find someone who's throwing down and having a good time somewhere. 5.30 in the morning. This is one club. Insane outside of the club. This is my crew right here. Little Miss Red Dress. These two, they're a couple. My bro, my girl. Leaving the club. Look, the sun's fucking coming up. It's 5.30 in the morning. And where are we going? Oh, you know where we're going because there's only one place to go after 4 a.m. in Manila, at least if you're in Makati. Poblacion, 
We're going to Secret Door, baby. I own that right there. Boom. That's mine right there. Seriously. That is a great fucking This is the reality. We're following hotness at 5.30 in the morning to the after hours bar. How good is that? You ain't gonna get that in the USA, baby. Me and my bro, we're like sharks following blood in the water. Man, oh man, it is Secret Door. This is the premier after hour spot to hit in Po Blaster Makati. Yeah, we don't even roll in here till three or four in the morning. And I got all kinds of crazy stuff coming up from Secret Door, but we're gonna get into that a little later. But now, let's get back to talking about BGC. It's an insane party in there. A literally an insane party in there. And outside it's sunrise. It's like Sunday morning. What? Long ass night. You're gonna eat. But there's no place on earth you'll eat cheaper than in the barren guy. We got a couple dishes, some chicken, some fish, some beans, some veggies. No pork, no pork. We might pay four bucks. Now too big, tayo yung ano lang service water. Maybe I ordered pork. Oh, and she ordered pork. One long, dinagtakan. It's my first. Well, I'm not eating that shit, but. But this is chicken no, and fish. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. This is the barren guy. This is the life in the Philippines. This is like, I told her, I'm like, let's go to filling station. She's like, nope. Okay. And now we're like, you know what? Let's just book a drive. Let's go home. In the humble barren guy. And we're going to eat like super cheap, super street level. Like we're on the fucking street. Like really. This is the Philippines. Look at that. I think that's pork fried rice. This is mango. The that, mung beans. This is fried rice. There's no pork shit. Oh, here. no pork shit. Okay. I don't know what. That's vegetables. Ah, uh, no. This is with no, hot dogs. No, that's dog. the pork. Hot dog. This is the vegetables. This is the chicken. Yeah. If this is more than $4, I'll be surprised. Talk a little bit more about why BGC is such a great environment to live in the Metro Manila area, especially if you're coming here as a first timer. Talked a little bit about community, convenience, cleanliness, but there's also this like staycation vibe thing going on. Like literally any time of the day, roll out of your unit, considering you're living in a condo because pretty much BGC is condo land. That, that's, that's all you got. Roll out of your unit, roll down to the gym, Go around to the pool, get some sun, get some laps, chill, relax, read a book. I mean, some condos are a little more exclusive than others. This one's pretty nice, but it's uh, it's not like 100% exclusive. Um, the weird thing about the amenities in condos after lockdown, I talked about this a lot during lockdown, was when they started easing the restrictions, they were still pretty strict. Uh, like you would have to schedule when you're allowed to go to the gym or schedule when you can go to the pool. Like, prior to lockdown, man, I was living in condos and like, any time of day I want, just bang, down to the gym, down to the pool, just grab a towel and go, you know? Now, you have to schedule it, because there can only be, you know, six people allowed at the pool, or there can only be four people allowed in the gym, or whatever. You know, I'm not even gonna get into it. All I can say is if you're gonna lease a condo in Makati or BGC, the one thing you really wanna question from the person you're leasing from is about condo amenities. What are the restrictions? Are there restrictions? Don't assume for one second just because the condo has a pool or a gym that you're just gonna have free license to roll down there anytime you want. Nah. Not all the condos are on board with that. They, they basically have their own rules and regulations based on whatever propaganda they choose to believe at the time. All in the guise of public safety. You know, public safety that that wonderful catchphrase that uh, basically allows people to get away with totalitarianism. Uh, yeah, but this is supposed to be a BGC is wonderful video, and it is. It really is. Don't get me wrong. Fantastic place to live. 
especially if you're first time moving to the Philippines. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, you know, help a brother out.